Well, David, the first couple of days of spring have been really nice, but looks like we're talking about something else down the road. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know something, and that was a beautiful picture, though, that last picture, and that's what it's going to look like in some parts of the state. Maybe right. this weekend, uh, northern parts and portions of the state, yeah, we're continuing to see that cold air there, Zach. But I did have the windows open as I was driving to work today, so I guess there's something to be said about the warm temperatures, mostly across southern portions of the state. It's still cold up in Caribou. You're at 20 degrees right now. Greenville at 27 degrees, 34 callus. And as you head down towards the mid-coast, now you get into the lower 40s. Portland at 40 degrees, and we're seeing a 35 degrees uh, temperature at Sanford and 33 degrees in Freiburg. So winds are out of the northwest. We're going to usher in slightly cooler air as we go through the next uh, 12 hours. And even tomorrow, you're going to feel a little bit chilly as this low pressure system behind me, we'll see that right behind my head right there, that's exiting east and we have a cold front that moved through over and it will be moving through overnight high pressure settling in but this system way out here that is going to be moving across the great lakes to our north and its ensuing warm front is going to bring some precipitation as we go into wednesday night into thursday not much going on across the state we're starting to see decreasing clouds a couple of snow showers across northern portions of the state but really no big deal right now overnight we'll be watching those temperatures dropping into the teens north and mostly into the 20 south. Watch out for some black ice across northern portions of the state where we did see some rain and snow showers uh, this afternoon. That may refreeze on some of those untreated surfaces by tomorrow morning. So something to be careful for mainly Bangor points north. But other than that, we'll see some clouds around in the morning and then they'll see a break in the clouds and then more clouds increasing as we go through the afternoon tomorrow. Temperatures mostly in the mid 40s, a little bit colder further north. And then by dinner time, we'll see increasing clouds, some high thin clouds moving in. Temperatures falling through the 30s once again. Look at far northern portions of the state. You're going to be in the teens, so there's really cold air banked to the north, but that cold air really stays there as a warm front moves in Wednesday night. We'll see some snow breaking out across the western mountains, foothills, and that'll move towards the north, mainly rain showers to the south. Those move through Thursday, and then by Thursday night into uh, Friday, we'll start to see things clearing as high pressure moves into the area. After that, cool day on Friday, temperatures mostly in the 40s, close to 50 down towards southern portions of the state. Then we'll be watching this storm late Friday, excuse me, early Saturday morning into Saturday afternoon. We'll start to see precipitation breaking out west to east. And the exact location of this storm, the exact track is going to determine how much snow or if any snow we see as we go into Saturday afternoon, especially Saturday night when the sun goes down. That's the best chance to see any accumulations. Uh, any accumulating snow, especially along the coastline. So some things we have to work out over the next 24 hours. I think we'll have a better lock on things tomorrow as we get a little bit closer to the event. It's not going to be a huge blockbuster storm, and there's really not that much cold air in place. So that's one of the things that we'll be dealing with. But since the storm, the timing of it may be coming during Saturday night, we could see some accumulating snow. We'll watch that closely. But this first storm system that moves through Wednesday night into Thursday, really neg negligible amounts of snow, Bangor up to Callis. But far northern areas, you can see anywhere between three to six inches, and that's what we're expecting right now for that first storm, Wednesday night into Thursday. Seas two feet tomorrow, nothing really going on out along the waters. Pretty decent day out there. Winds out of the northeast becoming southeast. So here's that seven day forecast, and again, it gets unsettled Wednesday night into Thursday. It'll be a cool rain, um, and then Friday's not looking too bad. Pretty decent day, pushing 50 along the coastline, 40s into central and northern portions of the state. And then again, we're going to watch that storm on Saturday into Sunday. By the way, Zach, there's another storm on its heels, possibly <laughs> Monday night into Tuesday. So it's going to be a bit unsettled, a little busy in the weather office. Yeah, but either side of the weekend, if you wanted to play some hooky and have a long weekend, there you go. <laughs> Good idea. Good idea. Thanks, David. Right, thank you.